You're watching the Big 12 on ESPN. Tonight, from the heart of Texas, the campus of Baylor University, it's 15-ranked West Virginia visiting number two, Baylor. Welcome inside the Farrell Center, the Paul J. Meyer Arena. I'm John Morris, alongside former Baylor All-American Katie Smith. Katie, a great matchup of two of the top four teams in the Big 12 standings tonight. Absolutely, we take a look at Baylor playing extremely in rhythm right now, ranked second for the fifth week straight, and then West Virginia coming off four straight wins, um, cracking, like you said, the top 15 for the first time in program history. So high level volleyball going on here tonight. Two of the top four ranked teams, two of the four teams ranked in the Big 12. How about Callie Williams helping Baylor to that number two ranking? Williams, the redshirt junior setter for Baylor. She's number seven in the nation right now in terms of assist. We take a look at this Baylor offense and how high power, how offensively threading it is. And you have to give a little bit of that credit to setter Callie Williams. And for West Virginia, the Mountaineers, their offensive MVP is Brianna Lynch. Brianna Lynch, a senior middle blocker for the Mountaineers. She's number five in the conference in blocks, having over a block per set. She's number five in the conference in hitting efficiency, hitting 361. She is going to be a huge threat both offensively and defensively. Tonight, we are going to see a lot of high-level volleyball here in the Ferrell Center today. It's Coach Ryan McGuire in his sixth year here at Baylor. Unprecedented success for the Baylor volleyball program under Coach McGuire. He is the reigning ABCA National and Southwest Region Coach of the Year, the Big 12 Coach of the Year last season as well. Reed Sunahara on the opposite bench, also in his sixth year at uh, his school at West Virginia. Led the Mountaineers to their first postseason since 1991 in 2017. And as we mentioned, has his team in the top 15 for the first time ever at number 15 this week. Both teams take to the floor here. The starters first for Baylor, number two in the nation, nine and one on the year. Williams, Maurice, Bowden, McGee, Harper, Presley, and Chanel Bramschreiber is the libero for the Baylor Bears. And for the visitors from Morgantown, Zerwaz, Lux, Dombrowski, Stokes, Lynch, Barova, and Audrey Adams for West Virginia. Baylor at nine and one, the Mountaineers at five and three. Baylor sits in second place, Katie, in the Big 12 standings. And uh, this uh, West Virginia team is tied with K-State at five and three for third place in the league. They are good. We look at how West Virginia is coming off two wins against Kansas and then following up with two wins also against TCU. And these are both strong teams in the conference. And then you look at Baylor, who's other than one match that they dropped early on this in the season, been completely unstoppable since that moment. So Campbell Bowden serving to begin the match tonight. We are underway. Baylor in that Baylor gold, those Baylor gold tops here this evening. New uh, uniform look, new colors uh, for Baylor athletics. And really shine on television and in person. The hands point West Virginia. 1-1 as we get going in the first set here in the Farrell Center. Baylor's won in each of the last 10 meetings against West Virginia. That dates back to 2014. In fact, Ryan McGuire is 10-0 all time against the Mountaineers. Definitely a tribute to Ryan McGuire's success these past five or so seasons. It's been Baylor's best in program history, so that is likely where that number comes from. Look there. Lachey Harper, Point Baylor to go up two to one here. Early going first set. Crowd still settling in here in the Farrell Center. We've got a, a max of 25% seating capacity in the Farrell Center. Point West Virginia ties it at two apiece. That's Audrey Adams, the senior middle blocker out of Carmel, Indiana. Audrey Adams, one of the two captains on this West Virginia team, taking a look at that red shirt senior on the court. Um, such a go-to for the Mountaineers. Natalie Petrova serving. It is in. That's a strong right arm. And Yasiana Presley. Good look at Presley. Preseason Big 12 Player of the Year, National Player of the Year last season. Let's see uh, Yasiana really still rounding into shape here in this season. She is. She's just about the most decorated player currently in the country um, and still has quite a bit of ways to go um, in terms of time left and eligibility. Here McGee over the net for the Bears. Oh, 
Presley punches that one, and it is in. Nice touch by Yassiana Presley. And it's 4-2, Baylor on top, first set. Talk, talking to Ryan McGuire about this returning ABCA National Player of the Year. Can she get better than she already is? And one of the things he talked about is how much better she was getting at diversifying her shots, and we got to see it right there. Swing from the right side, point West Virginia. Audrey Adams again for the Mountaineers. Adams not only the senior captain for this West Virginia team, but also the Student Athlete Advisory Committee president. So she is busy on the court and off. And with the service ace for Adams. <laughs> she does it all. She really does. <laughs> Ties it at four apiece here in the first set. Ryan McGuire looks on, Baylor head coach. Adam serving. And Karen McGee in the middle with the kill for the Bears. Karen McGee, 6'4", middle blocker, the sophomore out of San Antonio Clark High School and the reigning Big 12 defensive player of the week. Definitely a versatile player. She had 11 blocks in one single match last weekend against Iowa State, and then now you see her hit the ball straight down. West Virginia comes right back, ties it at five apiece. How about Baylor winning uh, Big 12 Defensive Player of the Week honors three weeks in a row, and it's three different players. It is. I think as a coach, that has to kind of make you smile. Sure. Where you're saying, you know, we don't just have one player that's shutting people down, that's stopping people, um, but anyone on any given night can do it. Chanel Bramschreiber two weeks ago, Lachey Harper last week, Kara McGee this week, honored by the Big 12 as the Defensive Player of the Week. A lot of talk by McGuire about Bramschreiber and how you don't always get the credit as the libero, but she's such a huge reason why this Baylor offense is so successful. Great block there, Kara McGee combining with Lauren Harrison for the block at the Baylor point. No, West Virginia got that one block out. So the Mountaineers lead at 6-5. They continue to serve. He in the middle with that block. Point Mountaineers. Seven five, West Virginia on top of Baylor. And there are the last three Big 12 defensive players of the week. Here McGee this week. Shea Harper last week. Chanel Bramschreiber two weeks ago. Baylor breaks through with the point there, thanks to Lauren Harrison. Good look there again at Harrison. Always love watching her hit the ball just because of how heavy her arm is. She has been a huge asset for this Baylor offensively this season as a transfer from University of North Carolina. Block for the point by West Virginia in the middle. Mountaineers lead at 8-6 here in the first set. Katie, what's it like starting out first set? You're sort of jousting with each other. You're finding out. Just get, kind of getting settled, right? Finding out what the other team wants to do, likes to do, does best? Yeah, I think so. I think there's a difference between, right, you can watch as much film and scout a team as much as possible, but until you're across the net from them, you don't really know what someone's capable of. Point Baylor over the net by Harrison. Was Baylor within one. You know the format of the Big 12 this year is you're playing the same team back-to-back -back nights, same location. Normally, well, when you were playing, it was uh, they were split up over the course of a long season. West Virginia might be here in Waco once, and then you go to Morgantown for the second match. Yeah, you definitely get that benefit of no matter what, you get a chance to play a team at home. So you have the home court advantage one of the time and then the challenge of playing on the road. But I think in terms of time, it's definitely hard to have to you know, we're sitting here tonight, we're going to turn around tomorrow at 5 p.m., and they're going to have to play again. So I think that turnaround time has been pretty quick for these student athletes. Marika Vandemark over the net for Baylor. And the block for the Baylor point. That is Harrison and Lachey Harper combining for the block. Pulls Baylor within one at 9-8. to eight. 
Now the look at it at the net. Very good form. They were completely pressed over and really gave the hitter no chance on that one. Campbell Bowden serving for Baylor. More out of freshman out of El Paso, Coronado High School. And Marika with the Baylor point. Ties it at nine apiece here in the first set. Smart tip by Audrey Adams there. Mark with the left arm swing for the Baylor point, and Baylor leads 10 to 9 over West Virginia. You know, we've seen Marika Vandermark heat up, and it's so much fun to watch her get excited about it. Um, specifically, think back to Baylor's Final Four run last year. In each match in that early um, tournament run, she would beat her record, her season high record from the match before. The block by Lachey Harper in that front line. Lachey, six foot two, a grad transfer from UCF, originally from Richmond, Virginia. Baylor goes up by two now, 11 to nine, first set. Harper sitting at seventh in the conference with 1.04 blocks per set. There's Presley, big swing. West Virginia responds well. That's a big swing. <laughs> that is a big swing. Point West Virginia. Yeah, as a hitter, I think those are kind of the ones that are fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, what do you do with something like that? <laughs> Mountaineers pull within one. It's 11-10, Baylor here in the first set. Lindsey Proctor to serve, senior from Grand Island, New York. Found her way to Morgantown, West Virginia. And another block well done by Baylor in that front line. <laughs> How about Presley showing all the skills? <laughs> yeah, that's a tough move to move from being an outside hitter all the way to that far pin to put up a triple block. So absolute kudos to Yassiana Presley on the hustle for that one. 12-10, Baylor leads, first set. Played best of five here tonight. And we had one official say Baylor point, the other motion that it was West Virginia's point. So they'll get together and make sure they are on the same page there. It's on the far side of the court from where we're seated. I wasn't sure if that block uh, went out there. That works, yeah. Man, that angle. Pulls the Mountaineers within one. It's 13. No, it's 12-11. Baylor on top. The call was reversed. And here's Natalie Petrova serving. And Marika Vandermark killing for Baylor. Miller goes up by two, 13-11. Interesting that there are four ranked teams in the Big 12, as we mentioned. And uh, Baylor's last three opponents this year, West Virginia tonight, in Austin to play Texas next week. And then they close at home against Kansas State. Those are the three other ranked teams along with Baylor, so they close a really tough schedule. Yeah, and I think more than ever, right, it matters who you play, what order. Um, kind of a benefit to play some of those top teams towards the end of the season because you're in rhythm, especially this year when people had such long breaks um, due to the COVID pandemic. So scheduling is everything, and there are definitely some big matches still to be played this year. Vandemark serves into the net. Point Mountaineers, 14-12, Baylor on top. Vandemark really working on that aggressive top spin serve. Definitely a risky serve, but when it pays off for her, it is extremely fun to watch and very, very fast. So West Virginia to serve now. This is Marileya Somoza serving for West Virginia. That is long, yes, point Baylor. 
15 to 12 first set here in the Barrel Center. Baylor volleyball last year to the national semifinals. Baylor Big 12 co-champs last year with the University of Texas. Season for the ages, 29 and two overall for the Bears. 15 and one to share the Big 12 Conference Championship. It's a great banner, great addition here to the Farrell Center. It is, it was fun to watch them hang that banner a couple weekends back um, and have some of that 2019 team, the seniors, return for that ceremony. Point Mountaineers coming out of the break, makes it 15 to 13, Baylor on top. We're in the first set here in the Farrell Center. First matchup between these two. We'll be back tomorrow evening with uh, the second matchup between Baylor and West Virginia. It'll be on Big 12 now on ESPN+. And the block for the Mountaineers for the point. Brianna Lynch we talked about in the open. Lynch, the senior out of Johns Creek, Georgia. And I love saying Chattahoochee High School with the block. Chattahoochee High. Chattahoochee High. <laughs> That's the mascot for Chattahoochee High School. Got to be the cheetahs. <laughs> Another point, big swing again by Lauren Harrison. 16-14, Baylor leads, first set. Kara McGee, reigning defensive player of the week in the Big 12, serving. Lisa Zerwas doing a great job of seeing that tip. That is in just inside the back line for the West Virginia point. Close within one. Another look at it. Well placed. Yeah, good looking at it there. We've talked about Kristen Lux out of North Bend, Nebraska, at North Bend Central High School. Um, and she gets a lot of sets. She's definitely a go-to for this West Virginia team. Presley over the net for Baylor. And a big swing, another West Virginia point that ties it at 16 here in the first set. So coming out of that break, that timeout, uh, Virginia's outscored Baylor three to one. That is in, just in the back line from Lauren Harrison. Here's go up 17-16. That is about as smart of a tip as there is in the game of volleyball, being able to place it so well where it falls right on that back line. As a defender, you just, you think it's out every single time. Nice tip, nice job over the net for the West Virginia point. Ties it at 17. Brianna Lynch again. We talked about how she's number five in the conference in both hitting efficiency and blocking, which it's hard to do as a player to be so good on offense and so good on defense, but hitting 361 on the season. So very often is putting the ball away um, and very trustworthy for her setter. Saved by West Virginia. Mark cross court, but out point Mountaineers, and they take the lead over Baylor, 18 to 17. It's Alexa Hastings serving for the Mountaineers, senior out of Plain City, Ohio. And that one cross court is wide from Lachey Harper. 19-17, Mountaineers lead. Uh, McGuire wants a timeout right here. Timeout, Baylor. West Virginia into the pole at number 15 this week. Kansas State actually up to number 11 this week, up from 13. So Big 12 well represented here in the fall season of collegiate volleyball. You mentioned it, some of these other conferences earlier on in their season um, so definitely room for there to still be shakeup in this top 15 poll um, as these teams continue playing. Uh, but excitement knowing that that number one Texas, that number two Baylor game is still in the future on both their schedules coming up down in Austin here in the next week or so. So it should be a fun matchup, should be fun to watch um, and high level volleyball right here in Central Texas. Some of the superlatives there for West Virginia working uh, through this season. 
to get back to the NCAA tournament, which will be in the spring this year. That'll be different. But Mountaineers having a great fall so far, ranked number 15 in the nation. Marigold looks on from the stands. Socially distanced, of course, <laughs> here in the Farrell Center. Wearing her mask. Uh, yes. <laughs> and Mountaineers serving up 19 to 17 on Baylor. Woo! Wow. How about that rocket that shot? That was straight down by Lauren Harrison. And on the right side, too. Fun to see her switch over there and swing. It's a way to come out of a timeout. Watch this big swing and the rocket by Lauren Harrison. So, so good by Harrison on the right side. Man, I love that. Uh -huh. I love that replay. 19-18. <laughs> Baylor within one. Campbell Bowden serving for the Bears. And the block, but out of bounds. Point West Virginia. They lead 20 to, 9, 20 to 18 over the Bears. Dombrowski doing a good job of reading that block and tooling it to make for her third kill on the night. Good look at the communication there between Callie Williams and Lachey Harper. And there is Lindsey Proctor set to serve for West Virginia. And the block for the Baylor point. Lache Harper in that front line along with Marika Vandemark. Fools Baylor within one. It's 20 to 19. West Virginia on top. Here's Chanel Bramschreiber serving and long on the serve. So point West Virginia. Just out there. I think it's hard because you want to go for it. You want to put the pressure on them. Um, but then working towards that consistency so we don't usually see Chanel Bramshaw or Miss Minnie. Natalie Petrova serving for West Virginia. There is, uh, there is Yassiana Presley. Boy, you see her start to elevate like that and kind of levitate in the air and then just crush the ball for the point. That's vintage Yassiana Presley right there. <laughs> goes to show just the relationship between Callie Williams and Yasiana Presley. We're sitting here 21 to 20 here in this first set, and that's who you go to, the AVCA National Player of the Year to put the ball away. Bears down by one, make it two as the serve is into the net by Emily Van Slate. So 22-20, West Virginia maintains the lead over the Bears. Coach McGuire, mask on on the Baylor sideline. Audrey Adams serving. Presley just tips that one over the net. West Virginia responds well. That is out point Baylor. Trying to get it inside the line on the far side of the floor, but just out one point game here in the first set. Good look there at Hannah Sedwick back on the court for Baylor. She's a returning first team All-American. Nothing about the year 2020 seems right, but to see her back on the court makes things feel a little bit more normal. Boy, so isn't that great. Excited to see her back, working back from an injury, um, but love to see her out there playing with her team. Anna Locken married to Jay Sedwick back on May 25th. Jay, a kicker on the Baylor football team. Anna Sedwick back on the court for the Bears. Point West Virginia. It is set point for the Mountaineers. They lead 24-21 here in the first set. Ryan McGuire wants a timeout. So look at Hannah Sedwick as she goes over to the team huddle. Get going following the Baylor timeout. Lacey Zurwaz will serve. Zurwaz, a junior from Phoenix, Arizona, Boulder Creek High School. Serving for the set. And they keep it alive, but out. Baylor 
responds, staying alive in the first set, 24-22. Lauren Harrison with her sixth kill tonight, really a go-to for Baylor playing maybe a little less consistently than we're used to seeing them play in this first set. Baylor has won three straight matches, 3-0, but these Mountaineers are looking at set point here to win the first set. Baylor a 23 match winning streak here on really different this year, Katie. You play a fall schedule, and then uh, if you you uh, are good enough to be in the NCAA tournament, you'll gear it up and play again in the spring. It is interesting because, yeah, like you said, some teams are in the heat of their season right now, like West Virginia and Baylor, and then you have teams that are just now starting, and then you have teams that aren't even starting until January, February. So people are in the heat of their seasons at very different times. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that April tournament goes. That is in for the West Virginia point, and they take set one here in the Farrell Center tonight. West Virginia goes up a set on second-ranked Baylor, 25-22, the score in the first set. To keep putting them on their heels, to keep being aggressive, because uh, Baylor will for certain fight back. And that was really one of the most impressive uh, numbers from that record-breaking season last year for Baylor, 31 consecutive set victories. That's tough to do. And that is in by Marika Vandemark, gets Baylor off on the right foot to begin the second set. Vandermark, that left-handed six foot five right side hitter for Baylor. She is from the Netherlands um, and truly every coach's dream for the right side. Callie Williams sets for Marika. And big swing in the middle for the kill by Sky Stokes. Stokes a freshman out of Chester, West Virginia. And the uh, 2019 Gatorade Player of the Year for the state of West Virginia. Stokes with three kills on the night. The past two that we've seen have been from that middle back position in the back row. And, and she hits it like she's in the front row when she's back there, which is such a threat for their offense. Nice set, and Kara McGee finishes it off for Baylor in the middle. 2-1, Bears go up in the second set. Most of Baylor's kills so far tonight have come from the pins. We've seen Harrison, we've seen Vandermark, we've seen Presley, all outsides and right sides. So very smart move by Callie Williams to start trying to get the middles more involved offensively. That was a touch by Baylor, point Mountaineers. Ties it at two here in the second set. Audrey Adams to serve. Off the hands, point Baylor from Kara McGee. Kara McGee is so fun to watch. Again, only a sophomore out of San Antonio. She just hits such a heavy ball. I saw a replay highlight of her from their last conference series, and I think she actually popped air out of the ball when she hit. <laughs> <laughs> Point West Virginia ties it at three apiece. A couple of Texans on the West Virginia roster. The winner is from Katy, Seven Lakes High School. And then Emily Ogagar is from San Antonio, Sandra Day O'Connor High School. Also, Natalie Petrova played at uh, Tyler Junior College last year. Yeah, originally at Missouri State her freshman year, transferred to Tyler Junior College, and now at West Virginia. She is from Bulgaria originally, so she has been just about everywhere, um, but has been great for this West Virginia team. It's a, it's a, it's a well-traveled student athlete. <laughs> it is. Point Baylor, 4-3, Bears go up. Petrova's been really good for West Virginia, not only offensively, she has three kills per set, but then also um, defensively. She almost leads the team in digs every set. And that is wide for the West Virginia point to tie it at four. When seesaws back and forth, 4-4 in the second set. Remember, West Virginia won the first set, 25-22 over Baylor. 
Here is Sky Stokes, the freshman. Long but touched by Baylor on the front line. Mountaineers point, they go up 5-4. Dombrowski, another freshman from Michigan. Word from her head coach, Reed Sunahara. In his sixth season. Dombrowski certainly not playing like a freshman tonight with five kills already. That is long for the Baylor point to tie it at five. <laughs> Callie Williams to serve. Callie Williams with over 10 digs in the past four matches. Really cool to see her develop as a player. She's not only running the offense of this number two Baylor team, but also getting digs. We've gotten to see her dump some and be aggressive offensively. So just such a well-rounded player that Baylor has in Callie Williams. Transfer from Tennessee. It's fun to have her here. Of course, her dad, Jason Williams, the associate head coach for Baylor Volleyball. Her mom, Corey uh, Siebertson Williams, a Baylor Volleyball Hall of Famer. All over the record books, uh, yes, you see Corey yes. Siebertson. <laughs> Breaking records that I don't even know how you do, like yes. quadruple doubles every other night. She's out of control. Terrific career. Callie continues. Baylor up 7-5. Callie Williams serving. Touch by Baylor for the West Virginia point. So the Mountaineers will take up serving honors, trailing by one, seven to six. But up a set on Baylor as we play in the second set. Alexa Hastings serving. And that is long point Baylor. So we saw Hannah Sedwick for a portion of that first set. Haven't seen her back yet in the second set. Sure, you'd limit her minutes, right? Limit her time on the floor. You were. I think there's probably an excitement to her being healthy and her being able to be back on that court. But yeah, the last thing you want um, is to rush her back and have too much time on the court and then result in furthering her injury. So glad to get to see her a little bit. And Vandermark finds the mark. The <laughs> flying Dutch woman with the kill for Baylor. And Baylor goes up 9-6 on West Virginia. Vandermark came to Baylor with hopes of getting recognized by the national team in the Netherlands. And very much so now on their radar with the success she's had um, with this Baylor program. Point Mountaineers touched by Baylor. 9-7 our score. Baylor on top. Mountaineers will serve. Lindsey Proctor. Lindsey Proctor serving for West Virginia. Mark keeps firing away. That one will result in the Baylor point. Off the hands. Another kill for Vandermark, and it's 10 7. Baylor on top in the second set. Here's another look. Great look again for Vandermark's fifth kill. She is extremely fun to watch. I think one thing in the game of volleyball we maybe don't celebrate enough is the liberos, the digging. We got to see Chanel Bram Schreiber dig the ball three times to attest to that Baylor point. West Virginia goes cross court for the kill and the point. 10 8, our score. See Marika out there, left handed. How, many, is that, how rare is that? How common is that? Yeah, I feel like all growing up, you might see one lefty on a team. And typically, you want that lefty to be your right side hitter. So they have to be a hitter, they have to be left handed. Um, and then you have to take it another level where you have to be as good as Marika Vandermark is. Yeah. So she's kind of the perfect formula, in all honesty. Sort of, to me, like a left-footed punter. You see him every once in a while, 
And it's just a little bit of a change up. It's just a little different. So I, I would think it works in your advantage. Absolutely. It's really hard as a blocker when you're used to lining up with that right hand every time because when it goes to the left hand, it's just so much quicker and more inside than you're used to blocking. Presley over the net for Baylor. Janelle Bramshriver wow, chases, chases it, it down. down. How about that? Wow. Covered a lot of ground there. And that is in for the West Virginia point. West Virginia kept chopping wood there and comes away with point to pull within two. But not for lack of effort on the Baylor side. And Janelle Bramshriver covered a lot of ground to get to that ball. 11-9, Baylor leads, second set. That's one thing about the Farrell Center. A lot of gyms you would have hit a wall way before that <laughs> happened. That's right. Point Baylor on the serve. By Samoza, 12-9 now. And Yassiana Presley to serve for the Bears. Callie Williams, she stands at 5'9", but coach refers to her as a bulldog, and she absolutely we see it most when she goes for those dumps. Aaron Harrison there for the kill for Baylor to put Baylor up 13 to nine on the Mountaineers. Timeout, West Virginia. Baylor up 13 to nine in the second set. West Virginia won the first set. Daughter and Corey Sievertson Williams. Take a look at Corey's uh, accomplishments. First Baylor volleyball player in the Baylor Hall of Fame. Record for sets played at Baylor 91. Southwest Conference Freshman of the Year. Good when we can get a Southwest Conference reference in here in Big 12 days. But how about the contributions there by uh, the Williams family to Baylor volleyball. Point Mountaineers coming out of the timeout. Got the privilege of playing club for Jason Williams before he was my coach at Baylor. And truly, more than maybe any coach I've ever seen, just the guy knows how to win. He finds a way, um, whatever it takes, and a lot of Baylor success has been because Jason Williams has been at this associate head coach helm. It's a great staff Ryan McGuire has uh, put together and kept together here at Baylor. Jason, the associate head coach, Sam Erger, associate head coach, Shelby Livingstone, the volunteer assistant coach, and then right on to uh, specific responsibilities for everybody on the staff, all working in unison. Ooh, nice kill. West Virginia, a couple of points coming out of the timeout. It's 13 to 11. It's Brianna Lynch for the Mountaineers. We talked about her in the open and how she was going to be so key for West Virginia's success. Um, and we've seen it tonight. She's been very much um, a threat in the middle. And even if she's not the one putting the ball away, she's holding that Baylor block so that they're not blocking her teammates. Lauren Harrison over the net for Baylor. Chanel Bramshriver with the dig. Wow. Harrison again, that is in for the Baylor point. Nope, nope, gonna say it was out. West Virginia point. Originally signaled in, but upon further review, it's a West Virginia point. It certainly looked good. No challenge coming, 13 to 12. <laughs> Doesn't mean it was Baylor in. <laughs> And the Baylor point. Well, Yassiana Presley has such good uh, a sense of, of when to just crush the ball and when to just tip it over the net. She really does. I think with a player you're looking at her in her senior year, now with the new eligibility year, she has even another year under her belt. Sometimes watching how smart she is with, okay, I, this is one I want to take a full swing on, and this is one that I can save my body and still score. I love watching her mix in those smart shots. Mountaineers come right back. Brianna Lynch, one point Baylor lead, 14-13, second set. West Virginia won the first set over Baylor here in Waco. Let's get a look at Sky Stokes, the freshman. And a Baylor point on that scramble at the net. 
Baylor goes up 15 to 13. Marika Vandemark back on the floor. Emily Van Slate goes to the bench. There is Callie Williams who will serve for the Bears. Great block in the middle for Baylor. Lachey Harper was there for the block in the Baylor point. Harper winning that honor of Defensive Player of the Week last week, and that's why right there, because of how good of a blocker she is. 16-13, Bears on top, served by Williams into the net. See total kills there. West Virginia has a slight lead, 27-23. 16-14, our score in the second set. West Virginia doing a good job of evening out who's getting these kills with 7-6-4-4-3-2-1. I mean, everyone's getting swings tonight. That is in in the back corner, Point West Virginia. They close within one in the second set. 16-15. Again, Dombrowski. Katie said, not looking like a freshman. <laughs> you just tell how much Stokes is such a go-to in that middle back position uh, to attack offensively. Wow, big swing in the middle for the West Virginia point. It's Audrey Adams with the kill for the Mountaineers. Audrey Adams having a real good night. And you almost kind of expect that out of a player like Adams, who's a redshirt senior. She's not going to be intimidated by the number two Baylor team. She's just going to get up and go for it. Tied at 16 in the second set. West Virginia up a set on the Bears. Nice idea by Van Slate. And Van Slate, a little power behind that swing for the Baylor point. Van Slate out of Houston, Cy Ridge High School. Greeted by her teammates on the sideline <laughs> as she goes to the bench. Yeah, I typically see her just in the back row, so fun to watch her get up and swing with the best of them. Campbell Bowden to serve for the Bears. Point Mountaineers ties it at 17. Block attempt by Baylor goes awry. <laughs> Lindsey Proctor to serve. Marika Vandemark has that swing blocked for the West Virginia point. Well done, Mountaineers. They go up 18 to 17 on Baylor. Timeout, Ryan McGuire. About to see the tag team there of Adams and Petrova on that block. Adams number four in the league. I think anytime a blocker is over a block per set, they just become in a zone now back behind Sam. She'll be the volunteer assistant coach with this team. Here come the Mountaineers serving. One point lead in the second set. Yasiana Presley. And sends that one into the stands. DJ Batman kind of woke him up up there. That ball was headed right for him. Oh, let's take another one. Wow. That's there he a is. long distance in the Ferrell Center <laughs> to get outside of the court playing area. DJ Batman was awake. <laughs> Heads up, Batman. Heads up. That was long point Baylor. A couple of Baylor points back to back coming out of the timeout. 19-18, Bears lead, second set. Here comes Presley, but she is long on that one. Point Mountaineers ties it at 19 in the second set. So 
So West Virginia to serve. It's Natalie Petrova. Well traveled junior, outside hitter, originally from Sofia, Bulgaria. That is out, Point Baylor. This is the rotation where we get to see Hannah Sedwick come in and set the front row uh, with Emily, Emily Van Slate to serve. So Sedwick, we saw her in the first set, back in here in the second set. Her first action of the season. And that is wide point Baylor. Baylor takes the lead, 21-19 over the Mountaineers. Reed Sunahara wants a timeout. Team down by two here in the second set. Mountaineers did win the first set over Baylor 25-22. Have to wait on the officials' calls sometimes on those uh, in or out calls. Our location is a little bit different due to uh, COVID protocols. Normally be right in Austin. Baylor game back at 9-1. K-State and West Virginia tied for third. They are 5-3 in Big 12 Conference play. Tech, Iowa State, Oklahoma, TCU, and Kansas round out the Big 12 standings going into play this weekend. Texas sweeping all opponents this season except for Oklahoma took a set from them and Kansas State took them to five. So they've been playing extremely clean this season um, and have kind of been holding that number one spot in the country for a while. One of the scheduled matchups this weekend just canceled today or postponed Oklahoma at Iowa State. They will not play in Ames this weekend. They hope to reschedule later in the season. As far as volleyball, Big 12 goes, we've seen that one other time early on in the season. And they had to actually, TCU had to cancel two weeks back to back. Um, so in, in, when you look at the big scheme of things, pretty few matches have been canceled. Um, all things considered. Uh, so hopefully they'll get to reschedule those pretty soon. Swing is long. It's 23-19. Baylor on top. Second set. For the Mountaineers up a set on Baylor. Emily Van Slate continues serving. Ooh, into the net. Good service honors away to West Virginia. Baylor up 23-20 here in the second set. Audrey Adams will serve for the Mountaineers. Campbell Bowden with the dig on that strong hit from the middle on the West Virginia side. Wesley without leaving her feet. Just punches the ball <laughs> over the net. Now she leaves her feet. And West Virginia can't quite get it over. Point Baylor. And it's set point for the Bears. They lead 24-20 over the Mountaineers. Love that fast tempo set from Hina Sedwick to Yasiana Presley. They came to Baylor the same year. Um, and they've really got that chemistry. So even with Sedwick out uh, for the entirety of the season, they seem to be picking up right where they left off. Presley serving for the set. There's the block that gets Baylor set number two. Kara McGee, the block, and Baylor takes the second set. 25-20 over West Virginia. We're tied at a set apiece. Baylor and West Virginia, this top 15 matchup in the Farrell Center. Back with the third set in a moment. Baylor takes set two, 25-20 over the Mountaineers. You're watching the for two weeks. So the third set begins with Campbell Bowden serving for Baylor. Tied at a set apiece, Baylor in West Virginia. Graham Schreiber sets for Presley. Presley with the kill for the Baylor point. Yasiana Presley with her seventh kill on the night. You know, you typically don't like when you're out of system. We want to get the set of the ball so that they're running the offense, but Ryan McGuire actually is not stressed at all when Chanel Graham Schreiber is the one to take the second ball because she's so skilled at setting. Presley and Lauren Harrison lead Baylor with seven kills apiece through the first two sets. And that is in, back-to-back -back kills by Presley. Baylor takes a 2-0 lead to start the third set. So smart seeing that that block um, was giving there the opportunity to hit line and that the defender wasn't there. 
And Mountaineers come right back. Big kill in the middle by Audrey Adams. <laughs> Audrey Adams, in case you haven't heard us say her name already, you definitely know who she is now. 2 1 our score. Baylor on top, third set. Lindsay Proctor to serve. Presley again. Got all three points for Baylor here in this third set. Great start by the Bears. Great start by the All-American, Yasiana Presley. John, you were sitting by me last year when Yasiana Presley had 39 kills in a single match and against the number two team in the country at the time. And love watching her just chip away at it um, and knock three out right off the bat. That is... Point West Virginia, Ryan McGuire is uh, strongly considering challenging that. If he's going to challenge, they'll take a look at it. So a review underway here of that last point. See what they're looking at. The challenge is a net touch. So we can kind of peek through the camera there and see. A good shot. So yeah, what they're challenging there is Zerwas coming down and hitting the net, which it very much has now been confirmed right. that she did in fact do. Great shot. The net cam showed it very clearly, so yep. good use of the challenge there. And point Baylor as that call is reversed. And it's now 4-1, Baylor on top. Chanel Bram Schreiber serving for the Bears. Oh, and how about an ace for Bram Schreiber? <laughs> Fell into no man's land there. Got to look at Ryan McGuire calling that exact location for Chanel Bram Schreiber to serve, Schreiber to, serve to, and she just couldn't have hit it better. 5 1, Baylor on top, third set. <laughs> that was great. Holly Williams to Yasiana Presley. Presley. With the touch over the net for the Baylor point and a 6-1 Baylor lead to start the third set. That'll lead to a timeout by West Virginia coach Reed Sunahara. Four of those Baylor's six points all due to Yasiata Presley. How about that? Timeout on the floor. We'll step aside. Baylor with the lead. 6-1, third set, tied one apiece. We're watching Big 12 Volleyball on ESPN. Six one Baylor on top, third set here in the Farrell Center, the Paul J. Meyer Arena in Waco. John Morris, Katie Smith, glad you're with us this evening. Big 12 volleyball, Baylor and West Virginia tied at a set apiece. Bears have come out strong. Yasiana Presley leading the way in this third set. That one is long but touched by Baylor, so point West Virginia out of the timeout. Off the fingertips. 6-2, Baylor on top. Petrova doing a real good job of seeing the block on that one. And the block for the Bears for the point. Second time we've gotten to see that tonight where Yasiana Presley comes in for the triple block and it's been effective both times. 7-2, Baylor leads, third set. Hannah Sedwick back on the floor. Callie Williams goes to the bench. Only Van Slate to serve. Oh, and a nice block <laughs> by the Bears. <laughs> Yassi right in the middle of that one again for an 8-2 Baylor lead. Man, she sure is fun to watch. She does so many things so very well. And she does. Everything. She, maybe that's why very she's well. the national player. <laughs> Campbell Bowden keeps that one alive. Wrong direction there. Point West Virginia. It's 8-3. Bears on top. Now so Audrey Adams to serve. West Virginia five and three on the season. Five and three in the Big 12 Conference. Chanel Bram Schreiber covering the blocker well. Point 
Mountaineers. 8-4 our score. That was a good rhyme, John. There you go. Works out sometimes. <laughs> Bree Adams serving. This idea by Hannah Sedwick. Oh, love that. Going over on the second by Kara McGee. And that is in for the Baylor point. Well played on both sides, Baylor and West Virginia. Bears come away with the point for a 9-4 lead. The returning first team All-American for her season debut, that is Anna Sedwick in prime form. Great to have Hannah Sedwick back on the floor for the Bears. Presley serving, 9-4 lead for the Bears. Wow. That was great. McGuire's been raving about the play, hasn't he, of Chanel Bramshrider? He has. He absolutely has, and rightfully so. We've seen her take so many balls tonight. And then I think sometimes we miss how many balls she served or serve received so well that gets Baylor in system offensively. I shouldn't say that. Sometimes I miss it. Maybe you don't, John. <laughs> I won't put that on you. Katie, <laughs> if you miss it, it's missed. <laughs> Kara McGee. There we go. Switches hands <laughs> in midair and tips it over with the left hand. Sheer athleticism from Kara McGee in the middle. Ten five, our score. Baylor on top. Six foot four, Kara McGee. And obviously very athletic. She serves. Mountaineers were, uh, I think, content to let that one potentially go long and then played it, so they had to uh, try to get it back, and they couldn't do so, so point Baylor. 11-5, Baylor on top. Into the net on the serve by Kara McGee. 11-6 our score, third set, tied one set apiece. Baylor in West Virginia. Good look again there at Bram Schreiber. We've said her name a lot tonight, but nine digs already for Baylor. Wow, nice swing on the near side by Lauren Harrison for the Baylor kid. <laughs> I think she's even smiling about that one. She knew how good that was. A look at it. Really good and great tempo set by Hina Sedwick. 12-6, Baylor on top, third set. Kelly Williams serving. And the swing into the net by Sky Stokes for the Baylor point. 13-6, Baylor leads. Came out strong to start this third set. Built, a, built an early lead. It's a timeout by Reed Sunahara in West Virginia, but the Bears and maintain that lead throughout. That is long for a 14-6 Baylor lead. Uh, nope, it was touched. So West Virginia point is 13-7. That one was definitely hard to see. It must have just barely nicked the top of their fingertips. So 13-7, Bears on top. Lauren Harrison again for the Bears. <laughs> Nine kills for Lauren Harrison. And we've seen her do it from everywhere. We've seen her on the outside. We've seen her on the right side. But the one thing is that is always in common is it is such a heavy and hard swing. Only a sophomore, redshirt sophomore, transfer, as Katie said, from the University of North Carolina. Great addition to this program. And that serve just tips the top of the net, but worked to uh, Baylor's benefit there. Campbell Bowden gives Baylor a 15-7 lead over West Virginia. Timeout on the floor. We will keep it right here with the Bears up 15-7 in the third set. 
Maybe. Tonight's game on ESPNU. Tomorrow night will be on Big 12 Now on ESPN+. Plus. Big 12 Now on ESPN Plus is a must-have for Big 12 fans. You'll have more volleyball featuring the Mountaineers next Friday at 6 Eastern, 5 Central against Iowa State. And the Bears will host Kansas State November 20th at 6.30 Eastern, 5.30 Central. Plus, you'll get more than 400 live events. Sign up today at ESPNPlus.com slash Big 12 Now. Of the 10 schools of the Big 12, uh, part of Big 12 now on ESPN Plus this year. So there are, as the promo said, 400 live events. The beauty of it is uh, those are archived for a period of time, so you can go back and watch if you miss one live. So there's a lot of Big 12 athletics on Big 12 now on ESPN Plus. Definitely love ESPN Plus in the Smith family household. We just are constantly re-watching things, yeah. Baylor wins, things like that. Um, but it's a pretty cool deal that you can watch literally anything again. Some fans in the stands here, limited capacity, 25% is what is allowed here in the Farrell Center. Nice to be at home. Basketball right around the corner for Baylor, West Virginia, other Big 12 schools. Less than a month away now. It's looking right now like it'll be 25% uh, capacity to begin the season at least for basketball. The ball right around the corner for Baylor, West Virginia, other Big 12 schools. Less than a month away now. It's looking right now like it'll be 25% uh, capacity to begin the season at least for basketball. There's another serve that just clips the top of the net by Campbell Bowden. It really gives West Virginia fits. Bowden really aiming for that small area right above the net. And sometimes when you're good enough at that, you just get lucky consistently. So I don't know if it's called luck anymore. 16-7, <laughs> Baylor leads. It's Baylor point for a 17-7 lead in the third set. Well, talking about Big 12 basketball, polls are out for the men and the women, the preseason polls. Baylor women picked number one in the preseason poll, and just today, Baylor men selected number one in the preseason poll for basketball. So it's going to be a fun year of basketball here in the Farrell Center this year. Continuing what is a fun year for Baylor volleyball. The kill for Marika Vandemark, and that's an 18-7 Baylor lead in this third set. Yeah, we got to see both Baylor men and women have such incredible seasons last year, and then with the tournament being canceled, never really got to see it finish. So fun to see them both be number one and excited to see what this season looks like. Point Mountaineers, Megan Dombrowski. It's at 18 to eight, Baylor leads by 10 in the third set. A lot of good things we've seen from Megan Dombrowski tonight, as she has eight kills now with that last one. Lindsey Proctor to serve, and that is wide point Bears. 19 to eight, Baylor leads. Set uh, very different to this point than the first two. First two were really tight, probably a two or three point margin was the biggest at any point in those first two sets. Yeah, Ryan McGuire is huge on Baylor being Baylor's best. So how much the game is different when you're playing locked in, when you're focusing on the little things. Um, and I think we're really seeing Baylor do that this set, and that is why there's such a discrepancy in score. Well, that one over the net by Callie Williams for the Baylor point, 20th of this set. 20 to eight, Baylor leads. Chanel Bramschreiber serving. McGee for Baylor over the net. Kara McGee with the Baylor point. It's 21-8, Baylor on top. <laughs> Straight off the dig from Callie Williams. I love that. Bram Schreiber serves. Really good soft short serve. And the block for the Baylor point. Presley and McGee were there combining for that block in a 22-8 Baylor lead. 
Watching Baylor get into this rhythm that we've seen them have earlier in the season. The past three sweeps, they very much were locked in, uh, playing the one way they know how to play, and seeing them do it again is fun. Well, that was ticketed to be uh, long, you would think, but touched on the back line by Sky Stokes. So, Rika Vandermark gets credit for a kill there, and it's 23-8, Baylor on top. Really good at finding Stokes in the back row. He's hit there on the front by Kara McGee for the West Virginia point. It's 23 to 9. The call is a double on Baylor, giving West Virginia the point. There's one. There's one. There's two. But the serve into the net by West Virginia. It's 24 9. So set point for the Bears. Looking to go up two sets to one on West Virginia. Emily Van Slate serving for the set. Bram Schreiber again, 12 days. Point Mountaineers 24-10 it is. So many little things going on here, you know, with the uh, COVID protocol. Uh, Baylor and the Big 12 uh, have, have really put a good plan in place. And the block by the Mountaineers, Brianna Lynch for the point, 24-11. Just watching them when they change out uh, the balls, you know, after every point. Uh, those that are handling the balls wearing gloves over there, they wipe those off every time. It's yeah. one of the small things or so many other things that are very, very uh, working very well. For sure. Talking to both teams about just how different this season's been. And, yeah, one example, wearing those N95 masks on planes with goggles, not something you're used to doing, but... Again, I think all these teams are just excited to be able to play volleyball. Darren McGee with the swing and the point, and that is set number three going the way of the Baylor Bears. Baylor very dominant in the third set. They went at 25 to 12. Baylor goes up two sets to one on West Virginia. What a year it was for Baylor volleyball in 2019. Highlights galore, 25 and one in the regular season. Big 12 co-champs, they were 15 and one in the Big 12 Conference last year. Number one overall seed in the NCAA tournament, advancing to their first Final Four as they made it to the national semifinals. Fell there to Wisconsin. Yasiana Presley, the ABCA National Player of the Year. Baylor's first ever Final Four. Katie, you were there in Pittsburgh last year to uh, cap a 29-2 season for Ryan McGuire in Baylor Volleyball last season. So much fun to follow this team through that season. Unprecedented, history-making, record-breaking, words we heard every two minutes um, for that 2019 Baylor team. It's so much fun to watch him come back this year. Excited to watch him make a big run again. Hopefully we get to see an end in some type of tournament. That's it. They want to uh, even go further this year. It'll be split over the uh, fall and the spring semesters as things look right now. But doing what they can here in the fall and leading two sets to one as we go to the fourth set. Beginning the fourth set, Baylor up 2-1 on West Virginia. Mountaineers serving to begin this fourth set. Remember, West Virginia won the first set. Baylor's taking the last two. Just underway, fourth set here in the Farrell Center. And the tip by Baylor, the block for the point. Marika Vandemark and Lachey Harper for the Baylor point to begin this fourth set. Quite the duo on the right side there for Baylor's block. Chanel Bram Schreiber will serve for the Bears. Ooh, what about that one? <laughs> Basketball by Bram Schreiber for the point. A lot of spice on that by Chanel Bram Schreiber. 
6-2-0 Baylor leads. Remember, Baylor jumped to a big lead to start the third set on their way to a 25-12 victory. Definitely saw the first two sets more. One team punches, the other punches back. Third set definitely had Baylor in the driver's seat. And Mark and Kara McGee combine on that block for a 3-0 Baylor lead. Here's Bram Schreiber again. And it's a 4-0 Baylor lead. <laughs> Two of those four points coming from Chanel Bram Schreiber aces. Great start to this fourth set for the home standing Bears. Undefeated at home all of last season. That was another part of that record-breaking year. You go 17-0 at home, you were having a great season. Long for the Baylor point and a 5-0 lead to start this fourth set. Timeout, Reed Sunahara and West Virginia as Baylor's jump to a 5-0 lead. Their 5-0 lead on West Virginia. We're in the fourth set. Bears lead it two sets to one over the Mountaineers. West Virginia called the timeout, tried to stem the tide of this Baylor run. And it reaches 6-0 to start the fourth set. A kill by Marika Vandemark. She is absolutely unstoppable tonight on the right side. Kill number eight on the night by Vandemark. That is wide for a 7-0 Baylor lead in the fourth set. A lot of changes being made on the West Virginia side. We've seen this sub back and forth twice now. West Virginia is just trying to get another look to slow down Chanel Bram Schreiber's serve. Bram Schreiber continues. She's on a roll serving for the Bears. And a West Virginia point. First of the fourth set makes it 7-1. Baylor on top. The call is over by the Baylor block, switching it to a West Virginia serve. So uh, Sky Stokes takes over, serving for the Mountaineers. Freshman for West Virginia. Just a tip over the net by McGee. A couple times she's done that tonight. Went up with the right hand and tipped it with the left hand. And Marika Vandemark. Well, number nine on the night for Vandemark. What did you call her, John, the flying Dutch the woman? flying Dutch woman. That she is. That is uh, that's all Max Calderon from Athletic Communications. So give Max credit for that one. Max is the man. Eight to one. Here's Presley. Good dig by Hastings. Anna Sedwick over the net. And for West Virginia, the point from Brianna Lynch. 8-2 it is, Baylor on top, fourth set. Bears lead it two sets to one. Good look at Alexa Hastings serving for the Mountaineers. Skims the top of the net. Turn is Long Point Mountaineers. You know, Baylor's been playing really well, really high level. West Virginia has also. But you add uh, Hannah Sedwick, get her back in the rotation, get her back contributing. It's going to be a great addition to this Baylor lineup. Absolutely. To have so much success already this year when you have your first team All American returning setter. Out injured. Pretty exciting for the depth of this Baylor team has. That is in for a Yassiana Presley kill and a 9-3 Baylor lead in the fourth set. Really good read of that block. Yassiana Presley hits that back line so perfectly as she does. Presley serving for the Bears, leading 9-3 in the fourth set. And Slate with the perfect dig. Long on that swing for a Mountaineer point, makes it 
be in action tomorrow. These same two teams, as we mentioned on Big 12 Now on ESPN Plus, start an hour earlier, 5 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. in the Eastern Time Zone. So even shorter than a 24-hour turnaround yeah. that we're used to. Katie, you, uh, you sometimes struggle with time zone differences? <laughs> Only every day. <laughs> Who told you? Uh, Is it that I've obvious? Seen, no, I've seen it in action. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So Baylor in the uh, Waco in the central time zone, West Virginia in the eastern time zone. If anyone is confused like me, if not, that'll just help me show up on time. <laughs> nice dump over the net by Hannah Sedwick. Well done, Point Baylor. 10-5, the Baylor lead in the fourth set. <laughs> Hannah Sedwick having a great time out there. With that dump, let's take a look again. Straight down, I absolutely love it. 10 5 Bears, McGee serving. There is Lauren Harrison for the Baylor point. 11 5 Bears on top, fourth set. That last kill puts Harrison at 10, following just behind Yossiana Presley at 11, and then Vandermark with nine. Showing that Baylor's doing a really good job of, of evening out these sets and distributing this offense well. Serve goes wide by Kara McGee. McGee to the bench, Branch Driver back on. 11-6 is the Baylor lead. As Natalie Petrova, this time last year, was playing at Tyler Junior College. Out on the return, 12-6, Baylor leads. Baylor in Texas next week. Folks have been pointing toward that matchup all season, really when the schedule came up. Coach McGuire, to his credit and his team's credit, said they're, they're not looking ahead at all. West Virginia has their full attention this week. His words were, we're not playing well enough to look at Folks, <laughs> <laughs> it wants this team to get one degree better every day. Practice every match. I think that's smart, though. I think we've seen teams in the past who get so fixated on that championship at the end of the season or the next opponent, and they stub their toe on a team that they should beat. So I think it's awesome that Ryan McGuire is, let's focus on the game tonight. Let's not look past it until we're ready to do so. That is long point Baylor, 14 to six. Great judgment there to let that one sail by. Although it'll be challenged by Reed Sunahara. Looks like, yep, he's gonna challenge that last call. So they'll take a look at it. We'll take a look at it with them. Right now ruled out, Baylor Point is what they're looking at. Close, but first glance does look out. Yeah, I'd agree with you, John. It does look out on that one. It's a good shot. The angle's tough. <laughs> it's certainly close. Not enough to overturn it. Right. Point stands. So Point Baylor for a 14 to 6 lead call is confirmed. You're right. That is kind of the tricky thing there when it is the burden of proof. Is it right. really obvious enough to switch it? Right. I don't know. Um, but a lot of calls in volleyball are like that, and that's why they're tight calls in the first place. So 14 6 Baylor lead over the Mountaineers. Here is Callie Williams. And point Baylor on the serve by Callie Williams. 15 to 6 lead. Another timeout by Reed Sunahara. He didn't want this one to get away so far that he uh, can't come back. Maybe this is the media timeout. Not, maybe not another timeout by West Virginia, but a 15 to 6 Baylor lead. Timeout on the floor. Again, November 20th at 6.30 Eastern, 5.30 Central. Get more than 400 live events. Sign up today at ESPNPlus.com slash Big 12 now. Words of instruction from Coach Ryan McGuire to Yassiana Presley. 
Back on the floor following the timeout, 15 to six, Baylor leads over the visitors from Morgantown, West Virginia. Callie Williams with the serve. We just saw her come off one ace. She's number five in the conference in service aces with 0.33 per set. Lauren Harrison. West Virginia keeps it alive. And the block by Baylor, Lachey Harper. Baylor leads by 10 in the fourth set, 16 to six. Good look there again at the Lachey Harper block. Seven and a half blocks by Baylor tonight, only two by West Virginia. Getting through the block attempt there, Point Mountaineers. Makes it 16 to seven, our score. Mountaineers ready, Audrey Adams serving. Asiana <laughs> Presley, an absolute rocket, but it's returned by the Mountaineers. Great return wow. by West Virginia. How in the world? <laughs> they were just in the right place at the right time. I love that. Oh, Presley. Can't get that one over. Point Mountaineers. Boy, that return was unbelievable. Look at that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pinball off two defenders there. <laughs> Pinball is correct. And West Virginia ends up with the point, 16 to eight. Presley, the swing and the kill for the Bears. A 17 to eight lead for Baylor. set there. 17-8, Baylor on top. Here's Campbell Bowden serving. Good swing by Kristen Lux, having a nice night for the Mountaineers. And the kill by Brianna Lynch. Now I'm serving. 17-9 is the lead for the Bears in the fourth set. This is Lacey Zerwaz. Lacey is junior from Phoenix, Arizona. Good dig by Lacey. And point Mountaineers back to back point. 17-10 our score now in the fourth set. Lux again with that one with nine kills. She has 29 total attempts on the night. So Zerwas has kind of found Lux. She's had success on the outside. She's been putting balls away, um, and she keeps wanting to feed her. Swing and a Baylor point to go up 18 to 10 on West Virginia. So Chanel Bramschreiber back out there. Again with the swing. <laughs> and a Baylor point, 19 to 10. Baylor on top. Yeah, Siana Presley playing a little more pin pinball with the defenders, <laughs> but getting the point that time. Here's Bram Schreiber had a great run serving to start this fourth set. Well, short to up the net, Baylor point. 20 to 10, Baylor leads. First two sets really tight between these two. Third set, Baylor jumped to an early lead and uh, ended up winning at 25 to 12. They lead here 20 to 10 in the fourth set.
No, I got a testament to Baylor getting just more consistent across the board. Their blocks have been more consistent. Their serves have been tougher and less errors. Uh, and they're really just stringing together a lot of good pieces. What is in just inside the back line by who else? Yasiana Presley. Who's Yasiana Presley? <laughs> just watch. Said no one ever. <laughs> just watch. 21-10, Baylor on top. Bram Schreiber. And it was touched by Baylor, Point Mountaineers, 21-11. Sky Stokes drops back to serve. They're leading by 10 here in this fourth set. Good hustle by Callie Williams. Great to keep that one alive. And Point Mountaineers, and Dabrowski makes it 21-12, Baylor leads. Stokes. And Marika Vandemark with the kill for the Baylor point. Just adding up those kills this evening, urging on her teammates. This ball to serve. Socks pulled up high. <laughs> it's working for her. 22 <laughs> 12, Baylor leads. High toss, the left handed serve, but into the net. She turns soccer player and kicks the ball away. She truly does it all. The flying Dutch one. You like that, don't you? I love that. 22-13 is <laughs> our score. Thank you, Max. Here's Alexa Hasty. And a big swing on the set by Sedwick. Kara McGee delivers for Baylor. 23-13, Baylor on top. Kind to see Baylor play so, so consistently these past two sets um, and get a glimpse of looking why they are the number two team in the country right now. Cross court and out Baylor point. It is match point for the Bears who lead it 24 to 13. Asiana Presley will serve for the match. 24, 13, Baylor on top. Arn Harrison. Stokes keeps West Virginia alive here in the fourth set. Big swing by Sky Stokes. It's 24 14 for score. So much heat out of the back row for Stokes. Served by Lindsey Proctor. Still set point and match point for Baylor. And a block for the Mountaineers point. They stay alive. It's 24-15. Good look at Hannah Sedwick there. Back helping this Baylor team win this set right now. Love seeing her back on the court. Served by West Virginia. Yasiana Presley, but blocked by the Mountaineers. Lauren Harrison. Natalie Petrova. Point Mountaineers. They are fighting with everything they've got here in this fourth set. It's 24-16, our score, 24-16. <laughs> Still match point for the Bears. Lindsay Proctor serving. That is long point Baylor, and the Bears have taken this match with West Virginia tonight. Three to one, Baylor wins over the Mountaineers in this top 15 matchup. Baylor wins, drops the first set, wins the next three to win it 3-1 over West Virginia this evening. Katie Baylor really got going, especially in the third and fourth sets tonight. First two were really tight. 
West Virginia gave Baylor all they could ask for. Bears number two in the nation win their 10th consecutive match on the season. They're